Howdy, and welcome back to A Lonk Between Worlds. On the last episode, uh, we cheated, we prospered, and we did the Skull Woods, and we saved Saris. I don't think I mentioned in the last episode that we saved the Queen Zora until we started. Uh, I wanted to start here because you might have noticed there was an a unopened treasure chest there uh, on this title screen. I'm going to see if it will loop back around just one more time before uh, we just jump in. Because I saw that and I was like, oh shit, did I just manage to miss one of the uh, treasure chests in Skull Woods? And we didn't. We didn't miss it, but I ran back through to try and grab it and it's it's opened. We did get it. Um, it's about to show on screen just for a second. Oh, wait, no, it's going down. I thought it was going to go up. Maybe it won't show uh, on screen again, but that, it, it doesn't matter. There was just a treasure chest that is unopened on this screen that we did get. And I was just like, wait, what? What What happened? What? No. But luckily, it's just a weird uh, safe screen thing. So let's actually get the hell out of here. Uh, is a thing I would like to do. Let's head on back to the vacant house. Uh, that's kind of our most convenient way back to uh, the little land you might have heard uh, called Hyrule. Uh, they have their own din sets, I've been uh, informed of, you could say. Because, uh, you know, yeah, we've got a little money in our pocket. We don't yet have enough uh, Maya Mai's. I don't think we got any in between um, going to Mother Maya Mai and you know, dungeon time. And even if we did, we had 52. I doubt that we got eight without me, like, paying attention. A warm welcome to you, Mr. Hero. Sorry I skipped your voice last time. It was just quick, quick equip shit, and I just, I didn't care. I'm sorry, Ravio. I would like to buy the tornado rod. With that, we're pretty good. Obviously, we are going to get uh, the bows. The bows, the bombs. We, we require them. Uh, you know, we just need to uh, quad quadipple our money. Uh, it, I know it's quadruple, but, you know, quadipple, more fun to say it that way. Uh, and we're actually, no, wait, actually, while we're here, I was going to fly away. This is actually a good location. We have, do we always have three apples on our, oh yeah, the apple eating animation, hell yeah. Uh, do we always have three on our tree? I thought we had two, but it, there's no way it could have increased because it increases by like street pass activity. And, you know, maybe we haven't had any street pass, wait. Have I not come over here with a tornado rod? I have not come over here with a tornado rod, it would appear. And was that for us number 53? Oh, let's get that off screen. Yeah, that's number 53. Okay, so we did not grab any. And even if we did, it wouldn't have mattered. Because then, it, you know, it would have been like 54 or so. And come back to the old blacksmith. Oh, Lunk the Third. The wife and I, we've searched everywhere for Gully. But he's nowhere to be found. What if monsters got... No, there's no way. Not our little boy. Tell me he's gonna be all right, Lonk the Third. S sorry, give me a second here, Lonk the Third. Hey, hey there, you have two pieces of Master Ore, don't you? How about I temper that sword? Sure. Right, let's get started. Can't wait to see how this beauty's gonna turn out. One moment. It's like, I assume it's supposed to be like them hitting it over and over, but it sounds like one or maybe two hits, and then there's like an echo effect on it. It's a little strange. Hmm, impressive. If I say so myself, I doubt I'll ever temper a blade so fine again in my life. I know there are lots of things you've got to do. Maybe this will help you out some. And with that, we get the Tempered Master Sword. You've increased the power of the Master Sword. You can really feel the difference. It's fucking red. It's kind of tight. I'm not asking you for payment or anything, but do you think you could find Gully? Okay, so let me tell you about this quest I'm on and how I'm already trying to do that. Well, I was going to do the same voice for him. I don't know why I do that. Just people come in pairs and they get the same voice. Well, I guess I should get back to work too. All those swords. For, well, I was going to say for all those people that need them, but I guess the castle does have people who need weapons and with that we have a level three sword the master sword has improved oh the sword beams red that's pretty cool it's like um i don't know why i just thought of it but inuyasha's blood blades a move i don't know how often he uses i didn't watch a ton of uh, inuyasha oh this is the square that i mentioned uh last episode where i, where I heard a my my but i was in the middle of my my run you know i had to get my jog on and i couldn't stop even for a crying baby uh in a tree somewhere you know you got you to gotta make your priorities, and sometimes your priority 
isn't a my am I? And that's actually wrong. Your, your priority should probably be saving the baby in the tree as opposed to, no, I gotta beat these guys in the race that they came up with. You know, I'm not even technically racing them. I'm just beating an arbitrary time uh, they set. So, you know, we're coming back to the sanctuary. I haven't been here in a minute. We can come back here to visit our old friend, Captain Forgot His Sword. Doesn't have a sword, has his shield. Oh, hey, that's funny. His shield's like kind of the same style as us. Also, I wanted to stand here because it's fun. You can like stand on the uh, stained glass window. His shield's kind of like the same kind as ours where you can see like the two like bumps on it, but his is blue instead of uh, orange like ours. What did you say? I don't remember if he had a voice. You saw my Ceres. I see. Then my daughter lives, and I have faith I will see her again. I can only imagine how you came to find her. You have my deepest thanks, Lonk the Third. There's a suspicious crack here. We'll be dealing with that one later. We got stuff to do, because we're not fucking around in the overworld this time. We are, but in a way that it, it, it'll all make sense. We're, go we're going back to house. I bought something from Ravio. We talked to... We talked to everyone I wanted to talk to. I think we're good. We're good to make a move on for our next dungeon. Oop, I almost ran straight into that guy because I was like leaning into the mic to be uh, dramatic, even though I probably, oh, that guy came out of the grass. That's always a cute effect when they do that. You know, just just a good old uh, link to the past-ism. Also, wait, oh, I was about to say, we haven't done anything with this building. Of course we haven't done anything with this building. There's uh, a big rock in the way. I can't believe in the Swamp, I know that it's, you know, two episodes ago now, but I can't believe in the Swamp Palace episode, I was like, but you gotta drain it in the other game and this one you don't and it's like no we did that big bomb thing to drain it and I just didn't notice also these six eyes these six eye looking things kind of reminded me of something uh, in, in Tears of the Kingdom a little bit although I assume that's not intentional or anything uh, kind of a strange thing in that game too uh, looking forward to see it. that never get explained uh, I say only I say that semi sarcastically but also it's like I don't really care if it gets explained a lot of interesting stuff in that game that i don't think will ever be explained and you know that, that's it's kind of fun um just for like oh that's just kind of a weird mystery huh you know i I've, I've always kind of enjoyed that kind of stuff in zelda where like maybe like something's implied to be around like um uh in ocarina of time for example like um i don't remember if it's sheik or impa who mentions it but mentioning like oh the sheikah village or whatever that gets mentioned at some point and for like it to be like oh that's somewhere around here like the idea is it's kakariko is it the idea that it's kakariko and it's like they're ninjas so they're like kind of like sneaky about it because as a child i just i think i just put that together especially with like breath of the wild having kakariko village be like where the sheikah live like i always interpreted that to be like oh there's like a secret ninja like town somewhere just kind of on the periphery where we can't actually get to are you a you're a you're a heal me lady. I don't need a I don't need a heal. Sorry, ma'am, but you're you have no functional purpose for me. And we've already gone everywhere. We can hear some my my cries. We can also see some big rocks. So we can probably did I pick these up? I don't know if I picked these up. I know I picked up a few of the rocks. Um, but it, it my my might be under a, bi a big rock. So that might be. I know we've seen a few of those, but I haven't been counting them. But I do know that, you know. We decremented the possible Mayamais to get down to 99 last episode. So I guess we're to 98 unless someone else has been counting because I sure as hell have not been. Hey. Hey. I'm going to do it every time. I just love that hey. Welcome back to Low Rule Kingdom, Lonk III. You find yourself near a swamp that is a <laughs> dread and rotting... Pr I don't know why, but that just like... Got like the like Twilight Zone voice. You find yourself near a. That's not. I don't know how to do that voice. I haven't heard it in years. But just you find yourself like, and then followed by stuff. Just made me think, you know. And welcome to the Twilight Zone. Uh, you find yourself near a swamp that is a dread and rotting place. Within it, I sense the very faint presence of a sage. And how odd. I sense also desert sand near the sage. But there is no desert in low rule. She's very adamant about that. No desert here, motherfucker. Furthermore, I foresee that you must bring an item into a temple. In you must bring an item into a temple there that will give you... Oh, into a temple there that will give you the control over sand. I say again that there is no desert in low rule. I do sense the start of your path. It's here, though. How baffling. So say I, Hilda of low rule. I love the, like, hey, idiot. There's... It's not here, but it is here. What could that mean? Whatever could it mean? 
Yes, yes, I'm a professional treasure hunter. I can't go anywhere without being recognized. Having a tough time here, though. If only I could manipulate sand and wind, then I... Well, let's just say I'd be able to secure myself a nice little piece of treasure here. Don't you worry about it, though, kid. Just leave it to the professionals. I'll figure this one out soon enough. This is actually kind of a little tr of a tricky one. I think I think it gets me. So our sand rod, uh, if you remember, we've only used it once. Um, can I push this button? Yeah, I can push that button. I can fucking push every button I want. Um, uh, if I remember right, this this one does give me a little bit of trouble, and I'm going to see if I can just you know breeze on through this because I think what gets me is you need to push these buttons, uh, and I think like oh I'm not gonna push these buttons just because it's like I need something to put down on them, but now you, you need to push these buttons before you can like start this puzzle. Uh, it's kind of hard to say because we only use the sand rod once, uh, but that previous sand rod when we'd use it it would make one pillar i believe let's see if we can go on here and uh make let, it now it just says let you make and break your own sand pillars like this one makes a big line of them hey. um i think that's the nice power uh i oh, tend to upgrade my my sand rod before we hit like the point <clears throat> before i hit the point where i'm going to go uh to this dungeon which as we've heard involves desert sand so you know Maybe maybe it's going to be a useful thing. What is this way? Does this take us anywhere? No, there's just there's just wall. It's a wall, you know. Good old-fashioned wall. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and make a thing here, see what's up. There's nothing up. That's, you know, asked and answered. You know, if I had, like, if I, if I used my brain, I probably would have remembered that. Oh, this guy isn't on, so what are we supposed to do? There is a switch over there. You can just I'd go push that, and hopefully... Yeah, yeah, hopefully that was the only switch we needed to push to activate that, or else uh, we would be uh, a little thing called shit out of luck. Can I invoke the sand rod from this distance? No, so we're just going to get in trouble if I... If, if we were to gust up, we would just knock ourselves over there. So what I think we need to do is run back here, and I think we do want to raise this across... We can see it goes forward. Yeah, so I think now we will land on this and it'll take us to that treasure chest. Okay, so I'm trying to, I, I think it is just the buttons at the bottom that confuse me and then I have a hard time getting started with this. Maybe it's that part that gives me trouble. I don't I don't remember, but uh, when I was practicing this game, for some reason, this one kind of threw me for a loop and I don't know why now. Okay, no acknowledgement that we got the treasure there, but you know. He didn't see that shit. He doesn't know. Let's get rid of the zero since they spit like apples or some shit at you in this one. Like sometimes they spit bombs at you and they can be a problem. There's like a, I don't think they're the same enemy, but they're a similar guy. Um, and uh, hey. Link's Awakening. That's just a fucking menace. That, those guys are a pain and now I don't have a projectile. Hey, oh, that doesn't even stun you. Let's get out. Um, I haven't used our bow in a while. Yeah, we have... We have a nice boomerang, though. Our our uh, bow is busted and rented. Oh, I can't hold the. I was I was gonna try and like hold my like hold the button for the the boomerang to like so I could like release it instead of having to tap it. But I I don't know why that made sense to me as something that'd be good. I'm happy as long as my feathered friends are here with me. Well, that is before they got turned into monsters. In which case, I should have been changed along with them. I thought so. I thought, oh, I should have been changed along with them. I thought, period, not a comma. Oh, no, no, it is a comma. Yeah, I thought, so I put on a ma I thought, so I put on a mask and chanted a lot. I tried to admire the yellow-winged monsters that live nearby, but as soon as they land, they spit out these bomb-like things, and I can't get anywhere near them. I think I might be able to get closer to one if I had a shield. Oh, shield, yeah. Are you really here just to tell us, hey, use your fucking shield? Um, yeah, I guess you're just here to... Tell us to use your, your fucking shield, huh? Well, all right, dude. Are you hiding a cave? Is there a cave behind you? You just a strange NPC. I guess, yeah, you're just here to be like, hey, you remember your shield? I mean, I guess that is good advice because to be fair, a lot of the time I don't remember my shield. Well, not here, my, my. Where is it? It's very loud, so it must be close. The Misery Mire. So this is a fun thing. Um... You know, Hilda, I don't know why I got hung up on like saying Hilda's name because I was like going to say Low Rule told us, uh, Hilda told us that 
you know. Oh, you know, you're gonna have to go to Desert Sand for the thing. So in in a little game called the one previous this you know the one that the, the first one of this uh, Link to the Past. Uh, the dungeon here was called Misery Mire, uh, and they kept Misery Mire in this game. However, it's not the dungeon. Um, you know, something something interesting is at play here, and you know, you're Hilda like really just spelled out like what's what's gonna happen here. Um, oh hey, see, it was worth coming back here. I was like, well, what if there's something back here? Oh, actually, um, these are new enemies. Um, they're kind of like um, like mold worms. Or land molas, uh, but they're called swamp molas because they come out of a swamp. Even though this is a mire, and um, I said that very authoritative, like yes, you know the difference between a swamp and a mire. I couldn't fucking tell you. I I don't know. I I I, I know very very few things, so that's not gonna be one of them. Okay, I was just checking that the, these were only two uh, portals, so we'll just go ahead and portals. Wow. Mm. I don't know why I called. I mean, it is a portal to, you know, a, a link between worlds. But you yeah, know, it's we've been calling them cracks. We've been calling them fissures. Oh, I' pretty sure y'all are. Oh, hey, you you came down on me while I was looking over at my notes to make sure y'all don't have a funny little name because I think I'm pretty sure y'all are just vultures. And this this guy's fun. This is a, a geld man. It's just a dude made out of sand who's gonna come out after us. And you can fight them like that, or you can fight them like this, where you knock them out and they're buff and wearing Speedos, and they just fucking book it away. It's very, very good. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys are just called Vultures. Let's go ahead and hit them with the old ra the old classic Razzle Dazzle. Well, I would say classic, but Spin Attack... When did Spin... Spin Attack didn't get added until um, Link's Awakening. Not Link's Awakening, uh, Link to the Past. The, the game I keep mentioning. Um... I don't think it was added until then, so it's, I say the classic, but I mean, I mean, Link to the Past is a classic, to be fair. Um, yeah, I can't hear the crying anymore. I assume that that Mai Mai was in, um, was it un under the sand? Maybe that's a bad assumption, but that is the assumption, hey, I am making that we're going to find some Mai Mai's under the sand, and I'm going to continue doing that whenever I hear a cry, you know checking and probably just barely get out of here dude i so love this kind of design oh wait do they lose their sandy like because like when they pop out of the sand they kind of have like some sand around them showing like oh hey oh, i thought there might be um a weather vein up here oh the vultures try to kind of like land on you to kind of like they swoop attack you but they don't swoop attack you like crows do they swoop attack you in such a way that it's like oh i'm go oh i knocked you out and i didn't notice wow I just left that baby laying there in the sand. Sorry, kid. Yeah, see, like, they have, like, a sandy appearance right now. Oh, well, he's dead. But whenever we, um, whenever we knocked him out of the sand, it looked more like, like, skin or flesh of some kind. So they're just, like, dudes who live in the sand, and the sand, like, builds up around them. But they're not, like, made of sand or anything. Like, I personally would have assumed made of sand. But that's not... What? I was a why did why did you jump there? What happened? I'm not exactly sure why Long did that. It was interesting to see. There must have been just like an ever slight gap, but like hopping over things like that isn't really a thing in this game, so I don't exactly understand why that happened. But it did, and you saw wait, is there something on the back of that? Yeah, there's like rupees on the back of that. Um oh I guess the idea is if we find where that crack is. If we come around um, to come back to this world, we would be able to, you know, ho ho, you know, here's here's ten rupees, and we'll, we'll go in and get the rupees. I mean, they're there. I don't think this is worth the time investment for ten rupees, but you know, we we did it. Hooray! Thanks, <laughs> thanks, game designers. I would have, you know, if I if there was like one twenty, one twenty, like not a hundred and twenty, but it, like a single 20 back there. I'd be like, yeah, all right, you know, that's worth a 20. Um, where the hell am I, actually? I keep thinking I'm, like, lower in the desert than I am, uh, but we're, we're actually uh, much higher than I thought, you know? I, I thought I was low, but I was actually high. Who would have assumed uh, that these two things would be related? Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. We saw a cave over there. Uh, is this close enough to... Yeah, this is close enough to this. 
Is this going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can just walk all the way on over to this secret little cave and see what's in here. Oh, it's fairies. And I'm, I'm chock... Uh, well, I'll... I'll take a, I'll take that little smooch, you know. I didn't I didn't particularly need it, but you know, we'll, we'll take it. And um, a, a link to the past. Um, in that game, in that cave, in like the equivalent of that cave, you know, the this location uh, in the desert, uh, there was like like a wise old man that used like Sahasrila's sprite. Uh, I don't remember if that guy had like a deal or something, but I always thought that guy was. Uh, kind of interesting and that like like what is up with you uh there's some horrid uh rock work there stopping us from uh walking along the wall there hey you just want to yeah just come here and get, get your ass beat please thank you um we can go into the dark world over there is there anything else because there's stuff there is stuff i hear that my am i um i will not forget you my am i we will we will come back i'm just gonna pop my head in here uh and think about my life i suppose it's more like thinking about oh i saw i don't know why but i saw this like peg right here and i was like oh, the my am i how did you cry through like the the world but you know that's that's not how that works it's it's also just wood and not a my am i and also you know i was gonna wait till later but hilda's full of shit i see some desert sand over there hilda maybe you should learn more about your fucking kingdom some uh queen is she queen or is she princess is she queen hilda i I think she said princess. I'm going to assume she said princess because this is the Legend of Zelda, and it's it's princesses all the way down. And well, I say that, but there's like what two princesses? Yeah, there's two princesses because like in Oracle of Ages, they have a fucking queen. So you know, oh boy, this fucking guy, you know, thinks he's so smart. Like, haha, I'm going to try and hit you where you're standing, not fly straight at you like a chump. But, you know, oh, thank you for your monster guts. I appreciate that. Um, I love that we have 64 of those. We'll be making great use of them. I also want to know where this fucking Mayamai is. Uh, oh, was this the correct way to actually, like, come over here? Oh, is the Mayamai back here? Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Mayamai was chilling in a different place uh, than I expected. There's some stuff happening here. That doesn't that is that that doesn't important right now. <laughs> that doesn't important right now at all. I agree with me. Oh wait, that's not the button I wanted to push. I wanted to push this. There's still one Maya Maya in this area, so there actually might still be a Maya Maya uh, in that little um the other little other area that we were just in. Yeah. Oh. Brain melting. You know. It happens very often in these LPs where we hit the point where it's like, oh, my brain is melting. I guess it's also August, so it's also incredibly excessively hot uh, here in uh, the Lone Star State, uh, as it were. So, you know, maybe that has something to do with it that probably isn't helping. Yeah, I'm not hearing that cry anymore. So we might have heard, um, I might have been hearing the cry from like over yonder. Uh, and not like one over here, but we do know that we got one, one missing. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear any more. So I think we'll just, just uh, ring the bell, and we'll just fly on over there. It's a great thing that Irene isn't here because she'd be like, "You want me to, like, just, just over there? You call me for this, you know?" <laughs> you, this is what this is what you need. You need me to move you like fifteen feet. That's not fifteen feet. That's a little farther than that. But welcome to the desert palace. Uh, so this is kind of a funny thing. So the desert palace was the second dungeon, and you you know you know the one I'm going to talk about. Um, it's the second dungeon in that one, uh, and you know one of the Hyrule dungeons. But they give it a bit of a what you could be describe as a glow up uh, and turn it into. Uh, I, I was going to say a dark world, but, you know, a low rule dungeon. It's still in high roll. We are in high roll. But, you know, this is this is our dungeon. Uh, it's it's in high roll, even though, you know, it's not it's it's not for pendants. This is this is for a sage, baby. We're here to find sage, the sage of the desert. Who would most be associated with the desert? 
I don't really have an answer. I mean, I know the answer. I don't know why. It just is the way it is. Sometimes people are just places, you know? It's That's just true of life. Sometimes people are just in places. It just happens sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I just had a... <laughs> you know, I was like, I just had like kind of an intrusive bad joke. But I was gonna, I'm going to say it anyways. Because I was like, sometimes people are in places, you know, sometimes they're on the Capitol at January 6th. It doesn't mean it. It does. So it means a lot, actually. Um, if, if you're not American, don't know what that means. Don't worry about it. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's It was a stupid joke. Um, and I, I do have to state that it was a joke. Because, because people are uh, fucking monsters. But, you know, it's fine. I mean, it's not. It's it's literally not fine. But it's not uh, part of the purview of this Let's Play. There's <laughs> There hasn't been research. Go That'd be an insane, like twist on this let's play it's just like okay actually turns out this was about politics all along who who knew i mean like i do tend to just say what i'm thinking politically regardless so that's not like anything new or i would say surprising but that's not like that's not like the 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 point the point is we're here to play some fucking legend is oh also these guys these guys are levers i almost didn't say anything about it because i'm like yeah it's levers Everyone knows Leavers. They're famous of this this game, um, and other Legend of Zelda games. You could say they're famous of being in the Legend of Zelda, and um, who did that? Oh, you know that that must have been my sword beam that broke that pot. That's probably the uh, that's the simplest solution to that. Um, how many? So we have three spots that we need to uh, stand on. Do we only have two statues? No, we have a third statue. Um, that makes sense because. As we saw when we stepped on them, or after we stepped off the button, they, um, you know, popped back up. So, you know, they're they're done being used. Not that doesn't make sense. They're the kind of thing that you need to hold down. It's a button that you need to hold down. That's what I was trying to get to. But uh, you know, it's the brain problem situation. Uh, I was about to say we all know it and we all love it, but I, I don't think we love it. <laughs> it's, in fact, it's I would dare say that it's bad actually uh the brain problem situation um i don't know why i was giving that blade trap so much respect but i did what's in here we're being we're being told that they're scary and oh oh this is a fun guy this is a fun little dude there's this little guy poking his head out of the sand so let's not oh i missed we just gotta knock him out of the sand where are you where's their fun little dude If I get, if I like move, the fun little dude comes out. Well, I, fun little dude. Here's our fun little dude. This is a, uh, you you won't believe it. Returning from uh, the game that I keep mentioning. This is a Hoku Boku, I think. It's like H O K K U B O K K U. I mean, I guess that's romaniz romanization roman romanization Roman romanization. There we go. That sounds correct. Um, of a Japanese word. So the spelling could be entirely incorrect but yeah it's just a funny little dude like in that game it was just a bunch of like balls that bounce at you like you saw but in this one you know they, they hide under the sand you gotta knock them out uh and then you kill them you know and you have to kill their parts uh it's it's like a fun little guy i i appreciate him also speaking of appreciate him this enemy's called a devil devol ant it's like d-e-v-a-l ant um because it's like a Oh, shoot, I forgot. An ant lion, that's what they're called. So I don't know why how they got to devil uh, on that, but, you know. Ant lion, is that what you call, like, the trapinch type bugs? I think that's what you call them. Not a hundred on that, but I, I think I... I think I could be correct. That's the kind of confidence I love to bring to the table. Um, but I don't think that's going to work for me. Because I think yeah there we go this will work next now i can merge in and just come over here and grab this chest oh but there's a gibdo here so scary uh let's go ahead and get away from you let's dismiss this let's i don't really need to throw sand up this way but why not we'll do it anyways yeah let's go ahead and just be careful with you uh so i don't hurt my my little hand well i guess it hurt my entire body if i hit you with my sword and it, the electricity conducted through it uh, it's not just like my hand, like, oh, no, I shocked my handsies. It's like, a, that's a full-on, like, oh, the sword conducted through uh, the Master Sword and got me. Thanks for the protection, uh, Fee. Fee, is that, I think Fee's the correct way. I think I always say Fi. Fi, Fee? Wait, no, wait, Fi. I think Fi's correct, because I think I always say Fee. 
So that means Fi is correct. Because as we famously know, she's named after Fee Fi Fo Fum. I said Fum instead of Thumb. Um, that's it's, that's not correct. It's it's a Fi mathematical thing that I don't remember. And I don't care to remember it because I remember trying to learn that for... Um, cow uh whenever like they like first introduced it and i was like i don't get what the fuck this is what am i supposed to do with it like you know how like people will like complain like ah oh, you know this is math why do they have letters now that was like full on i was like why do they have greek letter i'm lost uh, that that time is behind me and i don't care to go back to it and i don't care to remember what it's used for uh, i'm just gonna I'm just gonna repress that and move on uh, with this room and this was a room we were in earlier we just flooded it with sand so now we can come over here and get oh wait this isn't the room with the treasure chest we can see the... oh i was gonna say there's a treasure chest on the map uh but now we can just straight up see treasure chest it, it's it's there oh whoops i didn't mean to do that but that's fine yeah sometimes mistakes happen and i i, I, I make that comment a lot where it's like you know, you make a mistake. You gotta forgive yourself. And <laughs> it's fully just me, like, oh, you know, just don't, don't be hard on yourself, stupid. Just it'll be fine. Like, <laughs> don't be hard on yourself, stupid. Is a great sentiment, actually. <laughs> now that I say it out loud, it perfectly encapsulate, enca encapsulates someone who'd have to say, "Don't be hard on yourself, stupid." You got the Titans mitt. Now, hoisting even larger boulders will be a snap. So I was, I was pulling, pulling your legs about the, the big boulders. If you can, pick them up. Who, I got you with one of my famous goof-em-ups. Uh, oh, I know, it's so charming and fun. Uh, it is a shame, though, because we had to throw away our Nintendo-branded uh, Power Glove. Uh, but now we have the Titan-branded Titan, branded titan and we can pick up these big guys. I do like, it's like, so this one definitely increases our strength somehow because like i could believe that you know the power glove it is just like even rosso was just like oh this doesn't make you stronger you know it'll make you feel better so i like the interpretation that like oh it's just a glove so you know picking up the rocks won't hurt your handsies but these just do straight up make you stronger they're they have the power of the titan in them um you know it's like some like dnd like oh this is a strength increasing this is a long hallway I guess just to make the shape work, and I guess because this this exit's gonna be like um, flush with like the, yeah the entrance here, so I guess they're like we need a long hallway here. We don't really have anything to throw in here, but here you go. I'm hoping there's a fucking my my somewhere around here because there is one in this. Actually, wait, hold up. How big is this my my thing? Now that I think about it. Okay, now that I'm seeing this, there won't be a my my because I didn't realize it was in including this area. And spoilers, we have heard some my my cry a cry from under boulders. So now we can we can save those babies. Oh, this is a fun one. So there's a flying tile thing here, uh, and you know they're gonna try and come at us. You can create this like pillar of sand so you can like hide from them. But also, as always, shield. The shield is you know they give you this like arrangement to be like, oh, you can run around this thing with your stamina last. When will you pop out? But you know, you can just run to the beginning of the room, uh, take up a defensive position, and it's fine. It's kind of the designers getting you to engage with the mechanic to be like, you know, they're trying to get you to have more fun. Because if you, like, know this trick, you know, you're you're cheating yourself out of having just a little fun with the mechanic. But also, I guess, maybe it's also useful for dealing with uh, the devil ants because, you know, these guys just spit mad fireballs. So yeah, I believe this will be our midpoint now. <clears throat> yeah, this is our midpoint for uh, the dungeon. Which, you know, I always assume the things that start these are mini-bosses. Um, you know, not all mini-bosses are created equal. Uh, and, you know, it's completely understandable. Like, you know, uh, you know, you only have so much dev I almost a devil time. Like, you know, you like your devil trigger and devil may cry. You only have so much dev time. Uh, so I don't like mind or blame them for having like sometimes like oh sometimes a mini boss is gonna be a little lackluster because you know stuff hey. oh we haven't seen one of these guys yet so armos uh you know have a new a flavor in low rule i always forget their name so i wrote this one down they're called gizmos which is incredible hey. i don't know maybe it's supposed to be like gizmos but you know it's i think it's a, it, like a cool as hell name um 
And I am glad that I could share that I remembered it for once. Is there any... Oh, uh, there's hearts in here. Is there anything on the other side? No, nope, nothing. You know, just a couple hearts. Uh, we were able to move that boulder and see, you know, there was a treasure chest under it, which, you know, maybe that boulder had a very specific indentation on it that allowed for that to happen. But, you know, you know, the well, the Maya Maya's, they're crustaceans? I don't remember what we settled on with the studying I did because I forgot it, uh, just like how, you know, school, haha, <laughs> am I right? Um, you know, I, I haven't had to use that knowledge, so it, it went kaput. Uh, and you're gonna shoot me, so I can, I can, I can, like, do that. Actually, wait, will the, will the arrow trap hurt you? Arrow trap will hurt you, cool. Oh, can we get the arrow trap to kill you for us? Is the arrow trap strong enough to do that? Because this guy probably has a lot of health since he's, you know, yeah, I mean, we could do it. Took took a second since, you know, it's a low rule monster, so they have a uh, higher defense. Well, defense. It's, I assume it's not a de like a defense stat and more of a, uh, <clears throat> you know, just like how much health they have. You know, that's the way I would think about it. Uh, what are we going to do with this guy? We need you to get out of our way. But how are we going to do that? Because that guy is blocking... That guy's blocking the arrow the air, arrow trap shoot why not fucking the arrow trap uh and we could dismiss our thing but i don't think it's gonna like it's not gonna like shoot through like fast enough because if we could do that we would have like a little like situation where the things would keep switching and allow us to continue on um maybe, maybe that's something we'll come back for Let, let's just look around a, a bit first i guess uh maybe something changed Maybe at the moment I should just lay down a bomb and then see where that gets us on the front of the front of uh, dealing with this this like switch stuff that we we need to do because I feel like ultimately we need to move this guy out of the way but I don't have a way of doing that at the moment we can we can pick him up but that doesn't really help us like when we put him down. Um, also, just something something I want to mention uh, just while I'm thinking about it before I forget and distract myself with the game. We got a fucking dungeon item here. We got, you know, the Titan's Mitt, like an actual, like, required thing to beat the game. It's kind of interesting. So you don't... I'm trying to think if there's, like... Was there anything early in... Like, no, I think... Other than getting the Sand Rod for beating uh, Thieves Town, that the... Uh, or, or Thieves Hideout, that, like, that isn't really... Oh, that didn't help hmm. so what i want to do yeah we want we want this guy gone how do i do that maybe i'm not supposed to be here yet maybe there was a different way i was supposed to go um hmm now let's come up here because we can see there's door up there what do i what do i want to be doing oh hey what i well i know what i want ultimately i want this arrow to continuously shoot the the switch there so we can mess with it but what do we because i'm not like oh that oh never mind i wait no oh, yes i i was making him out of, out of mole hill here so we can just yeah there there we go once we're here we can grab it and just push the guy off okay it was it was a simple arrangement and i was just i was just overthinking it um it's it's fine you know so, sometimes it happens you know um it, it it is a game for children i'm not gonna like say it, it isn't because you know it is but you know, sometimes a puzzle is a puzzle, and it's gonna it's gonna get you even if you've played this game several times. You know, that took that for some reason. I guess that just took something that uh, I just didn't have in me for whatever reason. What do we need to do here to get to this chest? I'm thinking that the layout of this room is going to change based on, you know, we can see that opening there. There's the door to the south. Uh, so I'm guessing that perhaps we're going to come back for that big chest because it doesn't seem like at the moment we have any options. Also, we keep seeing... Well, I, I guess we keep saying that. We've seen two uh, chests buried in sand. We also don't have to use the sand rod to deal with these guys. We can get in striking range and just kind of deal with them the lazy way. Like, obviously, it's probably more efficient to just... Did you die? Oh, for a second, I thought it died under the sand. Probably more efficient to just use the sand rod and deal with it. Uh, as opposed to what I did. Are you bomb? Are you bomb? You are bomb. We bomb the rocks and they're gone. You know, sometimes it just works out that way. 
for some reason I was getting just like the feeling that there was supposed to be a door here. I'm not sure if that's maybe a later thing. I'm thinking of a different dungeon. Could entirely be a different game in the series knowing the way my brain works. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe help this boulder out. Boulder? Cannonball of some sort? Uh, where are you going, pal? Let's see, if I... Oh, I... That's interesting that it just stops. Like, yeah, okay, so you going all the way doesn't really help me at the moment. Um, even if I were to, like, use the sand rod to, um... If I were to use the sand rod to create, like... Like, I don't think it's going to, like, get sick air off of me, like, lifting it up and go over that, um... <clears throat> over that pit or anything, that bottom one that I was messing with first. But, you know, it's like... Uh, like, at the moment, I don't see any benefit out of... out of like, actually messing with that boulder. Maybe that was just one to play with, I suppose? I don't know. There's some stuff back here. Just some roops. Just some roops and some hearts. Uh, I was I kind of hoping, like, if we went all the way, there'd be a, a nice little sneaker for us. Uh, we... We got this sand flowing, so I'm assuming this room's gonna be filled with sand, but we still haven't figured out how to get to that guy over there. So now we have sand in here, uh, which means that the thing's actually locked in place. That's interesting. I guess they are like, okay, the final arrangement for this room is blue, blue switch getting hit. Uh, or maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, that was the big key. Hmm. Why is, why is that big? I don't think why is that the big key is the question I should be asking, but it is the one that I have asked. And what is this treasure chest here? I forgot what this room was. Oh, that room is, okay. Just a hallway with, oh, okay, wait, hold up, hold up. That's what I was thinking of. Actually, how do I, how do I get back up there now that I think about it? Um, I probably need to kind of just go all the way around again. Uh, Cause yeah, I was thinking like, oh, there should be like a door to the south in that room that I was not seeing. Uh, Cause for some reason I thought it was on the far left of the room, but it looks like it's more in the center. I guess it's kind of center righty. So yeah, there's like a little door here just to come here. This would probably just be, oh, it doesn't matter. It's covered in sand. I guess I could have assumed that, but I didn't. I didn't think that at all. Well, now we know. We'll we'll keep that in the back of our heads. Uh, and hopefully, oh, this isn't what I thought it'd be at all. Hmm. Well, that got us the big key, so it's not, like, useless, but I guess I should have assumed that would be that kind of room based on the fact that, um, uh, the shape. And where are we go? Oh, we have a key now. Uh, I guess we, we didn't have a key before, uh, and we were held, uh, held out, locked out by not having a key, you know? You can get locked out by not having a key. I've I've personally heard about that uh, previously. Okay, that's what we need to do. Uh, there's there's a locked door up there, uh, and I wasn't I wasn't seeing it because I was too, paying too much attention to uh, the bottom when I needed to be paying attention to the top. Oh, whoops. Um, you know, classic rookie mistake. You gotta you gotta pay attention to the whole. You can't just focus on one. Uh, you gotta you, you know you, you you get too focused on one, and you just run into a blade trap. Or upset someone. Or just do something stupid. Multiple, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sometimes, sometimes you have to do something stupid. It, you know, it's, it's perfectly, it's, you know, it's, it, sometimes you're going to do something stupid. It's not always going to be fine, though. The life lessons of Belong to the Past. We're finding them together. You know, sometimes it's in a confusing way, but we are, in fact, finding them together. Are you on the same thing as me? Can I get you? Okay, I can, but... Oh, it's like the same arrangement we saw earlier where we need to, um... You know, hit all of them at once with a little... I did not even acknowledge that because it's like... That puzzle's in so many games with, like, the spin attack where it's like, yeah, okay, there's four buttons. I need to hit them all, like, in pretty quick succession. So I probably need to do a spin attack. But this one's a little bit more fun uh, since... You know, you use the Beamos to do it. It's pretty cool. It is funny that they keep the same four pillar arrangement here, but they can't put all four because I guess the timing on the Beamos wouldn't really allow it. Or maybe that was just to be kind, so you didn't have to figure out how to time the Beamos uh, that tight. 
See, like this, like, oh shoot, that's not what I was expecting at all for some reason. Uh, I don't have a key, so actually this uh, serves no purpose for me. I, I don't know why I, I did not recognize that those um, <clears throat> the switches were like the, the red blue switches. Is there Hoku? Oh no, it's just, it's just lever. I, I thought there was gonna be another Hoku Boku in here. So I guess, oh, hey, actually this is a reference to, you would never guess it, reference to motherfucking Link to the Past. In that game, there is a room in the desert palace that's kind of a trap. You go in there and it locks behind you and there's just a bunch of enemies you have to kill. Uh, and there's no benefit to doing it. It doesn't get you like a treasure chest for congratulations, you killed all the enemies. It's just a trap. You go in there, you fight enemies, and it's like you killed the enemies, we'll let you out now. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I've ever picked up on that before or if that was something that just I, one of those, uh, you didn't know this, but your brain did, you know? I feel like I have that problem a lot because of the whole brain problem situation. Also, this is a fun effect. I kind of glossed over it before uh, whenever we went along the the sandy, like, sandfall thing uh, and and the, um, you know, we're on the wall, but the sand's falling. It's not, like, a particularly, like, it's not, like, technically impressive or visually impressive, but it's impressive in a way that I guess that's, like, it's... It's whimsical. It's fun. You know, you see like, oh, yeah, the sand's falling. That's cool. I, I enjoy this. You know, sometimes a thing's just meant to be enjoyed. Oh, you're surrounded, but it doesn't matter because I have the perfect defense. I'm, I just need to make sure. I am reading that. Yeah, they are gizmos. So you could, you could just call, you could call them gizmos if you wanted. No one's going to stop you. I certainly would not. I assume it's supposed to be gizmos since it's like... There are moats, but they're giz instead, you know? Is there... Is that it in the room? That was just walk across, kill some guys? Bada-bing, bada-boom? Bada-bing, bada-boom, I guess. Sure, you know? Sometimes things are just bada-bing, bada-boom. Hey. Hey, I know your trick. It's fine. I also like that they're like... Like how Armos, they um, they change colors whenever... Like, because they're trying to pretend to be like stone or whatever the fuck. And then, um, you know... They're like, haha, no, I'm actually monster. I like that they turn like green, like they're like little imps since they that's what their design invokes. No. No. It's the A button to pick up a bomb, right? Yeah, that was Yeah, between the merges, uh, that was a little tight for no reason. Uh let's get you over here. You can I don't wanna throw you. You can you can just detonate yourself. You can do the hard work for me. Hey, come on, buddy. Oh, wait, actually, no, I don't need you. This guy spawned exactly where I wanted. I might, well, I was gonna say I might need to pull out uh, a bomb or some shit um, at some point, and I may have to, but you know, while we have bobs, we might as well as use them, uh, because as I've, as I've heard, Bob's our uncle, which is a very surprising family lineage, but you know, it's there. People say that, so it must be true. Oh, that was kind of interesting, the way the camera has to like, zoom in like through oh they're coming for me they are pissed off um okay I'm, i've kind of been not paying attention in this room uh there a thing like do we just need to come in with different switch setup is there something i can do oh you know what i can do i can probably drop you here and then you s oh, the timing was off on that but that sh that should work for that one yeah, we just gotta use our sand rod. I wasn't really paying attention because I was like, oh, we'll continue on and then we'll figure out where we need to go. So you come over here. Whoever gets here first, I don't really care. It's... Well, I, I'll care if you do it wrong. I need you to do it correctly. Hey, you come over here. Come over here. Keep on coming. No, a little further. That's fine. There we go. Problem solved. Now that'll hit um, the switch, the red blue switch thing. Oh, is there another one? Another rock? Yeah, there's another rock. I truly, truly was just like, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Like, it's not like a difficult puzzle or anything. I mean, it wasn't. It was just like, I needed to just pay attention for one fucking second. Um, you know, sometimes a video game will require your attention. It's something I've learned over the years. I'm not a big fan of that because, you know, just, just, just give me the thing. It should be easy. I'm just coming over here because I feel like yeah, you can go pretty, f you know, I might as well just go all the way. Why? Oh, okay. Well, that's why you don't go all the way. But that's, oh, oh yeah, because I ran out of stamina. I was like, wait, I got hurt? But no, we, we, we've been through this. 
I was just interested, like, you know, put, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm starting to lose my voice. You know, maybe put like a, like a 20 rupee over there, you know, just like, hey, you decided to come over here. Although I guess we're so far in the game at this point that it's just like, do I really need to reward you for all this? And actually, now that I think about it, we've messed with the sand here. And as we can see, this is leading straight into boss room. But there are still chests we didn't get. Did I miss something that would change the sand level for those? Is that something that I was supposed to do before? Did that happen just now? I'm not exactly sure what is going on with those. Now, I, I'm a fool. I was just thinking like, oh, we got to change the level of the sand in here. You know, like like it's like a water raising puzzle. But no, it's, I, I, I figured it out. It's sand rod. Who would have guessed? It's sand rod, you know. You use the sand rod in the desert palace with all the sand where it's going to be the most useful it'll ever be. Uh, sorry, sand rod, but this is kind of your one and only time to shine. You may get like like a quick shout out here and there. Uh, no, nah, it'd just be easier to go across. I was thinking like, oh, I can go through the other room and take the door. Um, I, oh, whoops, I almost just fully just brain dead, head empty, like just walked into uh, that pit. Uh, but yeah, the sand rod, this is, it's a time to shine. You can kind of guess, like, as I've said, you know, this, you know, you need the sand rod to be able to complete this dungeon. You don't need it to complete any other dungeon. It's basically useless in the other dungeons. Maybe, maybe it'll show up in the, the, the like, very, very last level, you know, where they know you'll have it. Maybe. I can't make that promise because I don't remember. But it could happen is the, the point I was alluding to. Um, and, you know, these are all just rupees to, for being like, oh, look at you. You figured out that you could use the sand rod. And also, we have um, enough money now that when we go see Ravio next time, we can finish buying our items, which means that we'll be able to start hoarding our money for the other thing that we can use our money on, which I will remember to not say, just, you know, wait six whole seconds before just stating the, the thing I made a big stink about, like, trying to keep a spoiler. Okay, so I'm just going to run... Uh, back to uh, the boss door and hope I don't forget this very funny joke that I have in my mind. Gee, Desert Palace, why do you get two dungeon items? That's that's the entire thing. I, I just started thinking about that because the Desert Palace gets both Titan's Mint and Sand Rod. Uh, and, you know, I, I love that picture. That picture's... It's fun. I haven't seen it in years, but I just thought about it and it made me smile. So that's good enough for me. And here we come. We come out here into the overworld and we have a suspicious fissure, which I kind of already spoiled. But, you know, it, it was right there. You could see it. There was no reason to uh, beat around the bush on this one. But we come here and we can see there is, in fact, some desert sand in Hilda's kingdom of low rule. She needs to maybe pay a little bit more attention. Uh, oh, what is this guy's name? Um, Zag Zagon Zaganga Zaganaga Zaganaga Zaganaga. It looks like. Um, so this boss reminds me of. Uh, I mean, mostly because it's just like a desert guy with a desert plant thing going on. That it reminds me of uh, Manhandla from Oracle of Seasons. I believe that that's that guy's name. Um, okay, mine's just not being fast enough to run up to you uh, and give you give you the business. Yeah, I'm just not being fast enough. I was like, oh, do I need to get a projectile out? So yeah, he's just going to pop around to uh, a few of these spots. We use the sand rod, we get there, uh, and we can fight. Oh, and dropping like pea hats. I don't know if those are officially pea hats. They're very pea hat looking, and pea hats are kind of desert enemies uh, typically. Oh yeah, you have like a big beam attack, don't you? Yeah, it's like a sand beam. It's interesting. But it's also, you know, we have a much powerful, more powerful sword uh, than we did uh, we fought Knuckle Master, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just demolish you. Oh, we are standing in the range of your sand beam. I probably shouldn't stand in front of you when you're charging a beam. Should probably move out of the way. Also, I like that this guy's like bucking like Zelda tradition and being like, oh, you know how Zelda enemies sometimes have just like one big eye? He has a bunch of eyes, you know? And, you know, pretty simple boss. You know, the, the P-Hats could, can give you trouble. But like I told you, you have the ultimate defense. You just swing your sword as fast as you can. Swing your sword as fast as you can. You know, 
you know how that goes. You, you swing your sword as fast as you can, you spin in circles. You can, nothing can hit you. You're invincible. And hey, what do you know? You, we all called it. Obviously, you get Irene from the Desert Palace. The Desert Palace was one of the last ones I I got and I like every dungeon I was like where's Irene I need to see Irene like it was full on like Poochie where's Irene because I was like I need to save her I need I need broom help I need broom help Irene Hey, you came to rescue me? Well, I I don't know what to say, Loth the Third. But uh, hey, my fortune came true after all. You took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I was in big trouble, and I've got I've got to get back to my gram. That's all right. I forgive you. Just don't take that long to rescue me next time, and don't make any of the other sages wait that long either. Come on, get to saving the rest. Very straight straightforward with it, you know, like oh. The deluge, the flood of evil, or whatever. No, just, just. Oh, hey, hurry it up! I need, to, I need to get back home. What? One more thanks. Tell you what, Lonk the Third. Save all seven of us sages, and then I'll write a big long thank you letter. But for now, just be careful, okay? I can never remember how much inflection I put on her voice, but it'll be fine because we've saved her. Oh, lovely Zelda, can you begin to comprehend how, how lucky you are? Such legends, such heroes. We had legends, we had heroes. Lorul had hope. But all that is gone. Lorul has only me now, and your hero, of course. And if the hero of Hyrule fails me, oh, but I must have courage. He will succeed, or all is lost. Hilda's going through it. She's having a rough time, uh, you know, vis-a-vis kingdoms and such hey okay cool you're not like a fireball spitting guy so you see you know we did less fucking around on the overworld this time but we still fucked around on the overworld since you have to go through the misery mire in the desert to get to the desert palace so, was it a pal i think it was a palace i i did not read the dungeon map the entire time i was there uh too focused on the goal at hand and now that we've saved irene um i do want to actually stay here but uh if we were to fly somewhere Maybe Irene will, will chat with us a bit. Um, I suppose I could like just I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna save here anyway. So let's just go ahead and save. So I'll be here. Wait, wait. I I hmm. I'm like I can save here. So then when I start next episode, I'll be here. But I can fly here. The point is I can fly to places. I don't brain problem situation. Brain melting. I mean we were in the desert for a while. I gotta go get me some awaba quick. Uh, let's just fly somewhere. So now we'll see. It's still just Irene's broom because she is hanging out in the sacred realm, but she can talk to us. Hey, Irene here. Did I scare you? So, uh, uh, thanks for helping me. And this whole thing about me being a sage, some kind of special girl. Wow, big surprise. Wish I could leave where I am now, but I'll have to, uh, but I'll have to keep sending my broom. You know, I really miss my gram. Can't wait to see her again. And I guess we'll find out next time if your gram will be like, <laughs> will acknowledge that. Um, but, but that's it. That's the episode. We did it. Good job, everyone. See you next time.